Here we are in early July looking at a crop of all-seed rape and our attention comes now to desiccation. This year we have uh, big challenges with the variability of the crop, some crops with early flowering, some crops very late flowering because of slugs and pigeons and indeed in this August drill crop we're still seeing the crop flowering into July. With all seed rape, we're looking to time the application of, of Roundup when the, the crop is at a, an average maturity. Now that's going to be a challenge this year because of the, the range of, of, of pods and their development within the canopy. We're looking for the seeds to be two thirds moving from green to brown as the correct time for applying Roundup. If you apply Roundup too early, there is the risk that you can compromise yield and also uh, produce red seed which will impact on the quality of the sample. Of course if you go too late the crop will be too senesced and Roundup won't be efficiently taken into the plant. The benefit of using Roundup is that it tends to work relatively slowly over a two to three week period. It's always best to apply it in the morning because Roundup has an effect in terms of photosynthesis Roundup really benefits from going on and onto the leaf and sitting in a film of moisture so it can diffuse across the cuticle and into the plant. If you apply it in the heat of the day, clearly the moisture will rapidly disappear and you'll leave the, the glyphosate sitting on the leaf and not actually being used by the plant. On those varieties that don't have any natural or, or genetic pod shatter resistance, we would definitely suggest that you apply a pod stick agent either with the Roundup or indeed in a situation where you've got a, a very wide maturity within the field, apply maybe even two weeks before the application of the Roundup. The desiccation of all seed rape is all about compromise and this year with the variability of crops the compromise is going to be greater than ever.